Hi guys! Salamat sa inyong patuloy na pagsubaybay sa ating ginagawang discussions about statics of rigid bodies. In today's discussion, we shall be applying the concept of the couples in simplifying solutions in the determinations of the resultant of force system in a plane. Before I continue, guys, sana ay patuloy niyo akong subaybayan sa mga susunod kong discussions by subscribing to this channel and sharing it to your friends so that they will also be notified of these uh, uploads. Puntahan natin guys itong ating uh, problem. The problem states that determine the magnitude, direction, and position of the resultant of force system as shown. So in the figure, we have a system of forces acting on a plane okay, such that we have here 500 Newton force that is directed to the right at point at this point on the plane. Another force T which is equal to 50 okay, directed downward at this point. And there is another force of 650 Newton which is directed at an inclined direction with slope of 12 vertical and 5 horizontal. And there is another force Q that is directed from this point towards this point having a magnitude of 600 Newton. So from this case, from this uh, problem, we are required to determine what is the magnitude, direction, and the position of the resultant of force system. Guys, I know that you have in mind how you're going to solve for this problem. But what I will be sharing to you is how are we going to simplify the solution to this problem using the concept that we just have taken in our previous discussion about the concept of the couple. Before we continue solving the problem, let us try to go back to some basic concept that we will be using in the solution to this problem. First, we have okay, the computation of magnitude of the resultant having the formula which is equal to r equal to the square root of rx squared plus ry squared where rx is the summation of all the forces acting along x and ry is the summation of all the forces acting along y. Similarly, we can uh, determine the direction of this resultant by using this summation so that the angle that this resultant will be making with respect to the x-axis shall be equal to our tangent of our y over our x. And that the position of that resultant can be okay, solved using the principle of moment that okay, the resultant will cross the x-axis okay, by using the ratio of the summation of the moment about O divided by the summation of the force along y and the distance or the point where it will cross the y-axis shall be equal to the summation of the moment about O divided by R sub x. Basically, these are the concepts that we shall be using. However, ang target natin ay ma-apply natin ang principle ng couple para mas madali natin ma-solve itong problem in the determination of the resultant, the magnitude, the direction, and its position or the position of the line of action. Now, in dealing with this problem, in, instead of solving directly the magnitude of the resultant and the moment from the given, because we already have the given, solution can be simplified by resolving the forces into their respective components and then apply the properties of the couple. How are we going to do it? We are to resolve the 650 Newton force into components where the direction of the force is directed at an inclined direction of 12 vertical 5 horizontal, then the direction, the components can be easily solved by the ratio and proportion. Knowing that this is inclined at 5 horizontal 12 vertical, then this inclined slope, inclination of the slope, would have a magnitude of 13. As such, the horizontal component of this F 
is proportional to the horizontal component of the inclination. And this can be solved using the ratio of 5 over 13 of the magnitude of the force. And therefore, Fx will be equal to 215 Newton. Similarly, we can solve for the vertical component. The vertical component shall be equal to the ratio of the vertical a magnitude of the slope to the inclination, that is 12 over 3, multiplied by the magnitude of that force, and that is equal to 600 Newton. And that, if we are going to replace F by its component, then this F now can be replaced by the components equal to 250 that is directed to the right, and 600 Newton that is directed upward. Similarly, we're going to look at this 600 Newton. The inclination of the 600 Newton can be defined by the points where it is directed. Since it is directed from this point to that point, and whose inclination can be defined by the magnitude of this distance 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, and 3, therefore, it is inclined at a slope equal to 4 vertical horizontal and therefore this inclination have a magnitude of 5. Similarly we can solve for the x component of this view having the ratio of 3 over 5 of the magnitude of 600 and that is equal to 3 over 5 multiplied by 600 and that the magnitude shall be equal to 360 newton. Solving for the y component of this 600 newton it will be proportional to the y to the vertical okay, as to the incline of this okay, magnitude and therefore that is equal to 4 over 5 of 600 and that will give us a value equal to 480 newton so that if we are going to replace q by its component therefore this q will now become a okay, 360 horizontal and 480 vertical now, pagkatapos natin itong ma-resolve yung dalawang inclined okay, forces, then you will notice that the system now consists of sets of parallel forces. Makikita natin na yung ating system ngayon ay binubuo na ng system of parallel forces. So that, if we're going to examine these forces, we can simplify the solution by subdividing the 600 newton force into a pair of 480, 50, and 70. Kung natin itong 600 into 480, 50, and that remaining is 70. Bakit kung napiling 480? Because I see here 480 force that is directed downward. And I also see here 50 newton force that is directed downward. So, kung mahati ko yan ito into 480 and 50, may matitira ko ngayon 70. So, that this now can be subdivided into what? 480, 50, and then 70. The total of which is also equal to 600. Diba? Similarly, tingnan natin itong 500. Ano? Kung itong 500 ay hati natin into a pair of 250. Diba? 250. So, meron ngayon tayo ng... 250 nito at yung kabila 215. Magiging kapare siya ngayon ito. At dahil may matitrabang 250 at saka ito naman, 360, ito naman hatiin ko naman into what? A pair of 250 and 110. So pag hinati ko ngayon siya ng 250 at 110, then the same is equal to 360. So bakit ko ngayon ginawang ganun? Kasi mapapasin natin na nahati ko ngayon siya into different forces pero meron tayo ngayon na buong couples. Magsimula tayo sa analysis. Nakikita niyo itong dalawang forces na ito. Meron tayo ngayon itong two equal, equal forces that are oppositely directed and parallel in action. And they are separated by a distance of 3 meters. Diba? Ngayon, kung itong epekto na ito ay papaltang ko ng couple whose magnitude is the product, of 50 multiplied by 3, then I can have this simplified. Pwede ko na siyang tanggalin at palta ng isang couple na ang magnitude ay 115 Newton meter. Di ba ga? Ganun din ito, tingnan natin. Itong 480 na ito, another we have formed here a pair of 
okay equal forces oppositely directed the distance of which i one meter and these two forces will create another counterclockwise couple whose magnitude is equal to 480. Kung pantan uli natin siya ng 480 new couple, pwede natin sila tanggalin, di ba? Similarly, kung titinan natin itong 250 na ito, at saka yun, another, paris na naman yan ng equal, okay, oppositely directed forces. And this time, ang kanyang effect ay ano? Clockwise, di ba? So, kung pagta natin siya ng clockwise couple, having a magnitude of 250 multiplied by 1, then we can have here a couple of 250 newton meter. Similarly, itong couple na ito naman, itong forces na ito, di ba? Another pair of forces. Pag pinagta natin siya, ano ngayon ang magiging epekto niya? It will be producing a counterclockwise Couple having a magnitude of 250 multiplied by the distance between them, which is equal to 2. And therefore, the magnitude of the couple is 500 Newton meter. So, pagkaratis siya, so that you will have here 500 Newton meter. So, what happened now is that I have now replaced the system of forces into okay, four couples and two other forces, two other remaining forces. One is vertical and the other one is horizontal. So from here, we can already solve for the R sub X. R sub X being the summation of all the forces along X. At ano lang ang natira? Ito na lang. So napasin natin, na-simplify natin yung ating computation, na-lesson natin ang ating paggamit ng a calculator because the more you use the calculator, the more you will have chance of getting errors. Kaya ang ating Rx ngayon is only 110. Similarly, you can have okay, the summation uh, as of y by summing of forces along y. At mapasin natin, iisa na rin natin ang force and that is equal to 17 newton. So that r sub y equal to 17 newton. So from here, you can solve for r sub x which is equal to the square root of r x squared plus r y squared and that gives us a value of 130.384 newton. And this is inclined at an angle theta with respect to the x-axis equal to arctangent of r sub y over r sub x. That if we will be substituting the magnitude, okay, this will be equal to an angle of 32.47 degrees that is directed up to the right. I mean, up to the right, papaganyan ng direction. Diba? Kaya lamang, how are we going to know its direction or position? Will it be located here, here, or kaya dito sa baba? Ngayon, tinan natin, ano? Since it is to produce moment, so the moment produced by this resultant will define where it will be located. So, solve natin ngayon ang a moment sum of all the forces. When we say the summation of moment of the resultant, okay, about oh, is the summation, of course, of the moment produced by the individual forces. And we have reduced some of its effect into a couple. We have already produced three, okay, Counterclockwise couple and one clockwise couple plus the moment that will be produced by this vertical force and that horizontal force. Kaya pag simplify natin yan, we'll be using counterclockwise moment the same use the same as a okay, using in the right hand thumb principle that okay, when you produce uh, when you have a counterclockwise moment that is actually a positive. So we have here seventy multiplied by six will be k positive. This will have no moment because it just passes through KO. And there are the other moments are the couple produced by those pair of forces that we have okay, shown a while ago. These are okay, this 150, this 480, which is positive, this 500, which is also positive, and this clockwise moment, which is negative. So when we add all of these, we have the summation of the moment of the resultant, which is equal to 1,300. And this is positive, and therefore, it is actually producing a counterclockwise moment. So, kung counterclockwise moment siya, and that is pointed up to the right, but up to the right, at 32 degrees with respect to the horizontal, so malalaman natin siya kung nasaan siya. Nasa itas ba ng x-axis, o nasa, nasa itas ba ng origin, o nasa baba ng origin. So, by inspection, we would expect that it will be 
be at the bottom of the origin because if it is directed in this direction, it will be producing a counterclockwise moment about O. And our concern is to find where it will cross the x-axis and where it will cross the y-axis. And so we solve for that by solving for the x-intercept. The x-intercept is equal to the summation of the moment about O divided by R sub Y and that by substituting value, you have 1,300 divided by 70 that gives us a value of 18.57. To mean 18.57 to the right of O, so somewhere here. But similarly, we can solve for Y intercept that is equal to summation of moment about O divided by R sub X and that gives us a value of 1,300 divided by 110 and that magnitude will be equal to 11.2. Ang ibig sabihin, no, it is located at 11.2 distance from the bottom of A uh, O. So if we're going to show it there, so let us try to show it in our illustration here. In the ignoy ko lang para magkaroon ng A position or place yung ating sultan. The sultan will be directed in this direction, having a magnitude of 130.384 and this distance at which it is crossing the y-axis will be at 11.2. Ayon. And at this distance from here up to that point where it is crossing the x-axis is at 18.57. So nakita natin guys ang uh, process ano, kung paano masisimplify ang ating solution okay, in dealing with the resultant of force system, particularly the use, with the use of the couples. Kaya inaasahan ko guys na patuloy niya kung sasamahan sa ating magiging, mga, magiging discussion in the future ano, by subscribing to this channel and sharing it to your friends. Okay, once again, thank you very much for watching.